Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. And if you find this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between truth and validity in a logical argument. In order to analyze the statements and arguments that we're going to be looking at, we're going to use a tool called an Euler diagram. In other words, we're going to draw pictures of the statements. For example, the statement, all flowers are beautiful, can be drawn using a circle to represent anything that qualifies as a flower and a circle to represent anything that qualifies as beautiful. And since all flowers are in the category of beautiful things, we put the circle representing the flowers inside of the beautiful things circle. In fact, in general, if you have a statement of the form all A's are B's, then the characteristic A is going to be in the inner circle and the characteristic B is going to be in the outer circle. If you're interested in how to draw Euler diagrams for statements of other forms, like some A's or B's, there's another video on that. But in this video, we're just focusing on the difference between validity and truth. So we're going to look at these three arguments, which only have statements of the form all A's or B's. And we're going to focus on when the conclusion is true or false and when the argument is valid or invalid, which are two different concepts. So let's start by taking a look at argument one. The first premise says all beautiful things are flowers. So it fits the pattern of all A's or B's. So we have the beautiful things inside in the smaller circle and then the flowers in the outer circle. The second premise says all roses are beautiful. That means that roses fall into the beautiful category. So roses are in the inner circle and and beautiful is in the outer circle. Now, when we have an argument with several premises, we have to come up with a diagram that represents all the premises. So how can we combine these two diagrams into one Euler diagram? So I've copied down the flowers and beautiful diagram. So beautiful things inside of the flower category. And now I'm going to add to that the fact that the roses are inside of beautiful. And so now we have an Euler diagram that's representing both of the premises. To determine if our argument is valid, we need to focus on the conclusion of the argument, which is that all roses are flowers. Does our Euler diagram, which was drawn based only on the information given in the premises, guarantee that all roses are flowers? In other words, is the rose circle inside of the flower circle? The answer to that is yes. So this is a valid argument. That means that our reasoning was correct. Now let's look at argument two. For argument two, we have a premise that says that all flowers are beautiful. So the flower circle goes inside the beautiful circle. And then we have another premise that says that all beautiful things are roses, which means the beautiful circle goes inside the rose circle. So if we're going to combine those two premises into one Euler diagram for which both of these things are true, the flowers circle must be within the beautiful circle, which must be within the roses circle. So this is the diagram we're going to use to determine if we have a valid argument. Looking at this diagram, does it have to be the case based on this information that all flowers are roses? That would mean that the flowers circle is inside of the roses circle, which it is. So this is also a valid argument. Now I want to pause here to compare the situation in argument one with argument two. In argument one, we had a conclusion that all roses are flowers, which we know from our experience in life, that's true, right? And we also had an argument that was valid. But in argument two, we have the conclusion all flowers are roses, which we know from our experience in life is false, right? For example, daisies are flowers, but they're not roses. So we had a valid argument. The reasoning worked, but we got a false conclusion. Okay, how did that happen? Well, if you look back at our premises, and remember premises are things that we're assuming to be true, and if they're true, they force the conclusion to be true. We had a faulty premise there. All beautiful things are not roses. Because we had a faulty premise, 
Even though our reasoning was correct, the conclusion we came to was false. So just because your argument is valid doesn't mean the conclusion is necessarily true. You may have heard the old expression, garbage in, garbage out. If the facts we started with were flawed, they weren't true, then even if our reasoning is valid, we can come to a poor conclusion. Let's look at one more example. In argument three, we have the first premise, all roses are beautiful. So the circle representing roses is inside the circle representing beautiful. Then for our second premise, we have all flowers are beautiful. So the flower circle is inside the circle representing beautiful. But we need to put these together into one diagram in order to analyze whether the argument is valid or invalid. Now remember, when you're drawing your Euler diagram to represent your premises, you cannot assume any other facts to be true besides what they are telling you. You have to kind of ignore your life experience. Pretend like you're an alien who just dropped down on the planet and you don't know anything except the two facts that we were given. So in that case, how could we draw a diagram that has roses inside of beautiful and flowers inside of beautiful? We can't draw two separate beautiful circles, by the way. It has to be one one big circle for beautiful. So I'm gonna draw one big circle for beautiful. There are several possibilities here because we do not know the relationship between roses and flowers. Remember, we're from another planet, so we don't know that all roses are flowers. It's possible that some roses are flowers and they can still both be inside of beautiful, or it's possible that no roses are flowers, so they don't overlap at all, as in this diagram, or it's possible possible all flowers are roses, as in this diagram, or it's possible all roses are flowers. So when we try to determine if this is a valid argument, the conclusion all roses are flowers has to be forced to be true no matter which of these four scenarios we have, because all of them are possible. If there's even one of these possibilities which does not guarantee that all roses are flowers, then we know this is an invalid argument. For example, if roses overlap with flowers and some roses are flowers, but it's possible some are not, then this is a problem for our argument. The conclusion does not hold, at least in that scenario. In fact, it doesn't hold in three of the possible drawings that we have here. It only holds in one of them. So we have to say that this is an invalid argument. And this is despite the fact that the statement, all roses are flowers, as humans who live on earth, we know that that's a true statement. So even though the conclusion of the argument was true, the reasoning that we used to come to that conclusion was actually not valid. So we've seen that the conclusion of a valid argument can be false, meaning that we used the right reasoning, but the facts we had were flawed. And we've also seen that the conclusion of an invalid argument can be true, meaning that our conclusion was true despite the fact that we used poor reasoning to come to that conclusion. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.